Uh, I, sh I think we should start now. Uh, this uh, meeting is going to be recorded. Uh, the main purpose of recording this meeting is just to think that uh, the meetings uh, they have the ability to in the audience so we give them a chance to, to send them the, the link to see the, the invitation. Also, uh, if there is any missing, uh, any questions we couldn't answer or uh, we run out of the time, so it's going to be a good opportunity to get back to the people who ask questions to answer them. Uh, I'm going to speak in Arabic as well uh, for a little bit, so to explain that the, the ideas of these meetings. طبعا يعطيكم العافيه جميعا شكرا على حضوركم اذا كان احد عنده سؤال يبغى يسال بالعربي يكتب السؤال ويساله انا بقوم ان شاء الله بالله بترجمه السؤال للاخوان او نجاوب احنا كاتبين الماليه شكرا لحضوركم جميعا وطبعا اللقاء هذا مسجل الهدف من الناس اللي ما قدروا يحضرون الاجتماع ان نرسل لهم اللينك الرابط للاجتماع بحيث يشوفونه كذلك اذا لما نتمكن من رد على الاسئله او او اطلاق الوقت عدم رد الاسئله كل لنا فرصه نتواصل مع الشخص يسال السؤال ونجاوب السؤال. اوكي سو ليتس ستارت ذا ميتنج سو فيرست اوف اول وي نيد تو ثانكس اند انتروديوس ذا دايركت جنرال فاينانشال اكاديمي مستر مانع الخمسان تو اوبن ذيس ميتنج اند ذيس بارتنرشيب بين ذا فاينانشال اكاديمي اند ذا تشارتر انشورنس انستيتيوت سو Please, Mr. Manan, you can start your speech. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Uh, welcome of uh, all of you, and it's a pleasure to be with you today at the opening of uh, the CII exam uh, workshop. Our partnership with uh, CII as a continuation of the Financial Academy role in the field of developing professional exams to raise the workers' efficiency in the insurance uh, sector. This development uh, makes it uh, necessary for the Financial Academy to become the main uh, source of providing various educational and development solutions with the aim of providing practitioners with the necessary knowledge and skills and enhancing their capabilities in the financial sector in line with Vision 2030 and the Financial uh, uh, Sector Development Program Initiative. In uh, conclusion, my sincere appreciation goes to those who are in charge of this initiative and wishing the participants to get the most benefit from this meeting. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Manan. We really appreciate your time and effort uh, to, uh, to make this happen, that the collaboration between the Financial Academy and the Charter Institute, Insurance Institute uh, as well. So uh, now we're going to have uh, uh, the presenter, uh, Gaina Jones, uh, the CII Regional Director for Middle East, uh, talking about why the CII, why the FA uh, for us and picking the, the, the CII to, to, to provide the financial qualifications uh, for the Saudi market. So uh, let's uh, hear from her answer to this question. Okay, thank you, Mana, and thank you, Ahmed, for the introduction. Um, it's a pleasure to work with you both and have your support in the region. So YCII, as many of you have seen in the press recently, the Chartered Insurance Institute and the Financial Academy have entered into an agreement to be the exclusive provider of CII examinations throughout the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Financial Academy have carried out due diligence and searched the market for the best possible partnership, hence the CII. The CII is one of the oldest internationally recognised professional bodies in the world. What that means is that anyone attaining the prestigious CII qualifications can be recognised instantly by employers and consumers alike for the standard and quality of their knowledge and advice. The CII work with governments, corporates, training providers 
and academic institutions around the globe to instill public trust and confidence in the sector. Anyone becoming a CII member will adhere to our code of ethics. Because of the pedigree that the Chartered Insurance Institute holds, this made us attractive to the Financial Academy. We offer world-class qualifications with our tailored course material and examinations. The Financial Academy wanted to harness this expertise under one roof to enable students in Saudi Arabia to have the best learning and development platform in the region. CII study materials and examinations are created by senior, highly knowledgeable insurance industry and financial planning experts. We've adapted rapidly to the recent market changes due to COVID and are pleased to make you aware that all our multi-choice examinations are now available to take online, anytime, anywhere the student chooses, even from the comfort of their own home if they choose. We have also adapted, adapted many of our exams and study material to the international market. We've also translated some of them to Arabic to support the students in our region. <coughs> Excuse me. Lastly, we recommend our highly respected membership to anyone working in the financial services sector as we provide regular updates and industry insights, thought leadership, events and networking opportunities to all of our members. So this is why the CII. What I'm going to explain to you now, if I may, is um, a new programme that we've been working on with the, for the Financial Academy, which is what we call our Accredited Training Provider Programme. So our Accredited Training Provider Programme is another first for Saudi Arabia. ATP, Accredited Training Provider Programme in short, is a groundbreaking exclusive initiative that has been developed by the CII for the Financial Academy and the very first of its type in the world. We have engineered this programme so that students attending the Financial Academy for training get the best possible start to training on CII qualifications that is available. The CII have researched the market, we've carried out due diligence on the companies that wanted to apply for this selection process and we've looked at attributes such as the trainers qualifications and experience, can they train online as well as face to face, how many trainers does the training company have, what is their ability to, to train right throughout the Saudi Arabia region, We've looked at financial due diligence and the correct registration of the training company. And lastly, we've looked at clear, a clear and consistent focus on continuous professional development, CPD. Then, once we'd looked at these things, we took a scientific approach. We then put together a selection process using a scoring grid, which also utilised an independent external company in the same sector to carry out the grid scoring so we could have an unbiased result. This was anonymous, of course. The good news is both the CII and the external company selected all selected the same three training companies. So the three training companies which have been selected will be the exclusive accredited training providers for the Financial Academy to ensure that the students receive world-class training materials, examinations and tutors to enable them to pass the examinations first time. Ongoing monitoring will be carried out on the training companies to ensure their training is up to standard and students continue to receive world-class support throughout their studies. This will make the Financial Academy the go-to training destination in Saudi Arabia for CII qualifications. Thank you. 
I would like, uh, now like to pass over to my colleague Isaac Olubitan, who will go through the enrollment process with you. No problem at all. Thank you, Gaynor. Um, right, so we've worked over the um, past few months with the Financial Academy in, in developing a process uh, that works both for individuals who perhaps may be self-funding their way through uh, qualifications, um, as well as cohorts of indiv multiple individuals, really, who may perhaps be studying together or studying through uh, training providers, uh, such as ATPs, as uh, Gain has just kindly explained to us there. Um, and we've worked out a process that works for uh, both these uh, groups of people. Uh, purchases for uh, CRI examinations uh, will be made through the Financial Academy website. Um, for individuals, you will simply need to visit the Financial Academy site under the uh, list of exams on their exams pages, you browse through and see uh, a list of CI units, really, uh, which have been loaded onto their site. And uh, of course, um, find one that uh, uh, really is a, a part of the framework for uh, your chosen qualification pathway. You would need to register for a Financial Academy account. Um, if, you have, if you don't already have an account with the Financial Academy, you will need to register for an account with the Financial Academy. It's a very simple and straightforward process. Um, only a couple of details are required for you to actually register on there. And once you've registered, you'll be able to choose and pay for your um, exam uh, enrollment package, which includes uh, uh, e-study material as well as uh, a, an examination attempt. Uh, there are a range of payment options available for you on the Financial Academy website, uh, some of which are uh, credit and debit card, uh, payment through MatterCard, and also SADAT, um, I'm made to believe is also a, yeah, a popular choice which is available for, uh, via the uh, Financial Academy website. So uh, all of these options will be available for individuals to make their payments um, through the Financial Academy website. Now for group bookings, um, whether again it's uh, through ATPs or through training providers or even um, company bookings for multiple staff members, um, you will be able to contact the Financial Academy's dedicated exams team who are ready to help you through the registration and payment process um, once, you've, uh, once you've identified the candidates you want to put through for each of these exams. Post your booking, what will happen is the Financial Academy will send your order through to the CII. Uh, we will process the order and from there we will contact each of the individual candidates directly via email. Um, our emails uh, to the individuals are to do a couple of things. Number one is to inform them of their CII PIN number. Now that's very important because that gives them access not only to uh, downloading their e-study materials, uh, but it also gives them access to their exam vouchers and I'll explain a little bit about that um, uh, as we go on. What it also does uh, in terms of our email, we will notify the individuals that they've got access to platforms such as our Revision Mate platform where they will go on and download their, um, their e-materials, but also give them access to our MyCII um, profile page on the CII website. That allows them to do things such as um, see their uh, certificates once they've completed each of these exams, and uh, it's it's a it's a great hub for them to bring together all the information about their uh, their individual. Reading. Now, we've worked hard over the last couple of months in developing and improving the assessment options for our international candidates. Now, again, you touched on this um, a little bit earlier. We've made some improvement to our, assess, uh, our assessment options, particularly on the multiple choice side. Some of you may be aware that previously our exams internationally were available twice a year, one in April and uh, one in October. Our changes, uh, changes we've made is now mean, well now means really that um, individuals are able to uh, sit multiple choice exams far more frequently. So those exams will now be available all year round uh, in comparison to uh, two attempts, which was um, available previously. 
as I mentioned previously, the individuals will have access to uh, their, an exam voucher when they make their purchase through the Financial Academy website. Now, they will have the option of redeeming that exam voucher either via remote uh, invigilation. Now, the remote invigilation gives you the option to sit your exam from the comfort of your home uh, or indeed an office space. Uh, depending, uh, as long as you've got the uh, correct equipment, i.e., a camera and uh, a, a mic, along with your uh, with your laptop or, or computer, you're sitting the exam on. And again, we can provide further information and more detailed information about these options to you later. Um, another option, of course, available to the candidates is to sit in one of the four uh, financial academy exam centres that we have across um, Saudi Arabia. Uh, we've got exam centres in Riyadh, Dammam, Jeddah, and of course Abba. And exams um, at the are available on a monthly basis. So in between exams at the Financial Academy Centre and of course um, the uh, remote invigilation option I've just um, briefly talked through, uh, there are loads of opportunities for candidates to actually sit their CII multiple choice exams. You know. If you have any questions on this, I'll be able to answer that uh, during the uh, Q&A. For now, I'd just like to hand back to Ahmed, who will talk us through some of the future plans. Uh, thank you, Isaac, and really appreciate that uh, information you provide us. Uh, uh, so now I'm going to talk about the future plans. Uh, what is the, the CIFA collaboration means? What we are seeing now is just the tip of the iceberg. We have lots of collaboration uh, to, 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 to implement for the financial sector, uh, especially the insurance sector in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we are planning for, for uh, customized uh, exams. Uh, the CRI have the, the capability and the experience of providing the qualification exam in the insurance sector. So, uh, and we have uh, specific regulations here in Saudi Arabia, so we're going to uh, start talking together so to, to implement more uh, focus exams fit for the Saudi market. Uh, the other thing is about uh, providing more qualifications. What we are now having is just, just uh, the, the, the mean of the, the, the exams is most demand for the Saudi sector. However, we are planning to, to add to this list uh, as the, the need from the end users or from the candidates to, to provide. However, we received some uh, requests for exams it's not available on the Financial Academy website, so we provide them with the, with the process of register uh, for these qualifications. Uh, also, as uh, Gaina and Isaac start talking about more uh, qualified uh, people in the insurance sectors is uh, having the CRI qualifications. To do that, we need to make sure we have a, a very good preparation courses and prepare that the candidates for these exams as well. So we plan for the 2021st to, to have uh, a very big numbers of qualifications, uh, having the qualifications in the, the, the financial sectors. So they're going to be uh, having the, the, the international standards what the CII is providing. Uh, I think the last uh, point is going to be, uh, it's not the last point, it's two more points. Uh, we need to enhance the registration process. Uh, we know now uh, the registration is different than what we have currently uh, because the CII uh, provide us an option of having the, the exams uh, remotely. You don't have to, to pick an exam for the IFA uh, exam centers. Uh, this way, uh, make us to create a different uh, customer experience. However, we are uh, seeing it, it's more that we ask that, that, that our customers about the, the, the process and all of them are having, they are telling us uh, it's good, the uh, process is not uh, something we need to, to fully validate and uh, revisit it. However, we are planning with the CRI to make sure all the processes is, is fit with our customer experience uh, standards we have. The last one is uh, uh, something uh, we are seeing that uh, the CRI is not providing the qualifications for the insurance only. They have uh, financial planning qualifications and will known for that. So we're going to 
also worked with them to, to, to provide these qualifications for the Saudi sectors in the uh, 2021st or the 2022nd as well. So this is uh, the future plans that A and uh, uh, CRI is, is planning to, to, to implement in the future. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to, to raise your hands. Uh, we're going to unmute you and you can ask questions. If you prefer to, to write it down, uh, also you can write it down in the comments so we can answer your question. Uh, also, uh, you are an Arabic speaker, so I'm going to speak in Arabic now. If you have any questions, you can ask me to ask you. Or you can write a question in Arabic. We can ask you a question in Arabic. We can ask you a question in Arabic. Thank you everyone for your time and we are ready to, to answer one of you, any of your questions uh, from to your hand. Uh, let me uh, start with the questions for the CRI. Was, uh, I have some questions from, from our customers, and uh, we usually answer these questions in behalf of the CRI, and sometimes we need uh, the CRI to respond to these questions. So I have a question for, for, the, for I think, for Isaac uh, or Gina. Uh, I received a question uh, when I was uh, earlier today asking me, Ahmed, we already have an IFCE, already have it. And uh, I uh, I created this uh, credit now. What is the next step for me to to, to have uh, the CII diploma, or uh, what is the next step for me after finalizing the IFC and fitting to the CII uh, qualifications? So for. Um... I think I'll take this one very quickly. For any individual who um, have uh, who already holds uh, an existing CII qualification and they're looking to go on to the next level, um, we can always talk them through uh, a specific pathway depending on their discipline or, the, or what areas they wish to focus on in the sector, uh, whether it be claims, um, underwriting, and so on and so forth. We can always um, work out a pathway for those individuals and they can uh, make sure that they sit, the exams that they sit in working towards the next level are in line with um, their area of business, for example. Anyone who holds um, qualifications already that may not be CII qualification, um, we have a process called recognition of prior learning. Um, and what that does is it allows us to recognize those qualifications and perhaps give them some credits uh, two or CII qualifications. Um, in essence, it means that uh, potentially they may need to sit less exams in achieving the CII certificates um, or of course indeed the diploma depending on what stage they're at in their progression through uh, the qualification framework. You know, but there is a process um, uh, in, line for, in place for that rather and uh, again after this meeting we're um, happy to share more information um, about our recognition of prior learning um, process, really. Does that, does that answer your question? Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, I have another question, Isaac. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, I received some comments from the market. They yeah, told me, uh, Ahmed, if, if we took the, the exam through the remote regulator, it's not going to be accredited as if we took it through the FA exam center. And I told them uh, this is not true. Uh, the same uh, environment that uh, they are providing for these exams is going to be uh, applicable for the remote regulator who took the exam. 
at home, at office, whenever they want to. Can you please uh, give them more clarifications about uh, the remedial regulator versus uh, the exam center? Absolutely. Um, so, as a CII, uh, we are a um, globally credible um, organization and we take the integrity of our exam very seriously. Um, therefore, in terms of providing uh, exams via remote invigilation, the, the, the main process is that um, somebody will um, be, you'll have a, uh, a remote invigilator who will monitor uh, the actual exam, almost the same as if you actually were at a physical centre and somebody was monitoring your exam. Um, the process includes um, using your camera, the value of your camera, um, looking around the room to make sure that there aren't any electronic devices or uh, books or any um, answer sheets lying around, um, and making sure that this space in which you're taking the exam, uh, the, you're taking the exam, is indeed conducive. Um, and in itself, using the camera, they monitor you through the exam process until, of course, you have finished the exam. Same as if you were at a physical um, exam centre, really. Um, if there are any issues, then they will be flagged and you'll be um, perhaps asked the questions um, about that. Uh, but like I say, the, the process is um, astringent enough to avoid um, any foul play, as we as we put it. Um, so, in, for anybody who may be concerned about um, the level of monitoring that um, will take place during remote invigilation compared to um, a, a physical centre, um, I, I don't think you need to worry in that regard because um, we have the same level, if not more, um, a level of monitoring with our remote invigilated exams, really. I think there was um, also another question in the chat. Yes, yeah. please. There's a question for Isaac. If an organization would like to register a number of employees for CII qualifications, can they enroll them and pay on a bulk order? Uh, they absolutely can. Um, again, as I um, have outlined before, the Financial Academy's um, dedicated exams team are fully prepped and they are ready to um, assist you uh, with bulk registrations. So long as you've already determined the, the candidates you want to put through for the selective units, you'll be provided with a form uh, and on that form you will provide the list of the candidates um, that will then go back to the Financial Academy and they will be in contact with you and arrange payment for um, those candidates really. Um, so in terms of a process, the Financial Academy is fully ready, fully briefed and they are um, able to actually assist you in uh, getting through your bulk orders. Yeah, uh, I can add to, to, to what I said. Yes, we have a delivery team in our exam center, in our exam department. They are uh, willing to, to have this bulk registration. And we did, uh, and we are in the process now with, uh, I think, with the almost 25 candidates in uh, register in uh, our time. And when the one, one, yeah, institute want to register 25 exam tickets at the one time, so we we'll went through with them uh, the process of payment, uh, the process of uh, registering the, their candidates, and then we're gonna uh, contact the CRI to register them and to follow up with them to make sure. All the things will be received the information as well, uh, the materials, so you can be ready for the exam through the FA or through the uh, regulator. Brilliant. Are there um, are there any other questions? Anything you want to know with regards to the process, um, the exams available, so on and so forth? We have to answer these questions.
Okay. There is another question for ISA just came through. Which qualifications would FA CII recommend we focus employees on gaining at the outset? Okay, um, that's a very good question. I think um, Gaina alluded to some of this in, in her introduction as well. Um, we have a, a set of exams uh, that have been purpose built for the international market. Um, now these these exams cover the wide range of um, main topics, I suppose, within the insurance sector. We've got uh, uh, an Arabic pathway to the certificate, as well as an, a general um, international pathway to, to uh, the certificate and insurance qualifications. It consists of three units. Um, the, the, the framework really consists of WO1 being the award in general insurance. That unit mainly covers um, the general information about insurance, who does what, the main principles of insurance. Then you've got uh, WUI, which covers underwriting, um, as well as WCA, uh, which covers um, claims aspects of insurance. So the combination of the general insurance topic, the claims topic and the underwriting topic is a clear pathway um, that we would recommend individuals take up uh, in achieving the certificate in insurance really and like I said that comes in two forms we've got a complete suite of Arab, Arabic translated subjects as well as um, an English version um, which individuals can use but of course all of this we have stripped out uh, what is was previously the UK centric legislations and information within there and we've made these qualifications specific to the international market really so um, by way of recommendation it would be those um, three units that I would recommend people perhaps start on and build towards the um, certificate insurance. One more question which came through. Question for Gaina and Ahmed. As natives of KSA, what are the benefits of individuals gaining these qualifications? Uh, could you hear the question? Okay. Yeah, do you want me to go? Do you want me to answer this, Ahmed? Ahmed is yes. on mute. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so basically, uh, for anybody, you know, uh, that is a native of Saudi Arabia, this this is going to set them apart from the market. So, you know, as you're probably aware, there are lots and lots of insurance practitioners in the market at your company that you're working at, maybe, and maybe at com you know competitors' companies. So, what this is going to do is elevate you against your peers. So, if you're looking for career advancement, if you're looking for a career path. Um, you know, you're going to have internationally recognised qualifications that are going to make you more desirable as an employee, but also from a client seeking advice. Um, I know from my, from my own perspective, if I was seeking advice from somebody, I would much rather take it from somebody that has the qualifications than somebody that doesn't. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, this is going to um, raise the insurance profile in Saudi Arabia by people getting qualified and doing the right thing and giving the right advice to their clients. I think that answers that one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Gina. That's exactly what we are. I want to say, and this is exactly what, what why we are collaborating with the CI. I'm going to add one thing, so as Saudi Arabia is now moving uh, for the Vision 2030, which is going to be uh, an international uh, standard, is going to be applicable for the financial sector. So, uh, as you uh, individual and having the, the qualification from international uh, institute, uh, this is known for the insurance. It's going to be, uh, as Kenna uh, said, going to be distinguish you between the, your your peers as well. You are going to be better having that uh, 
international standards uh, when we are uh, when we are now starting to to, to win for the international uh, businesses and putting our uh, our financial sectors whole financial sectors to be as uh, international uh, standards as it's supposed to be so again uh, as Ken has said uh, this is very important to have these qualifications uh, beside your, your, your experience here in the financial sector Are there any more questions at that stage? Uh, again, uh, if you have any question uh, regarding this cooperation, please feel free to, to, to email us at the Financial Academy. We have a dedicated uh, email uh, exams at the fa.org to this day. OK, one more question that just came through. Uh, what happens once I have enrolled? Is it just self-study, then sit exam? Or can I get, um, or I can get some help with training? I think that's uh, one that I'll take. Uh, once you register for the examination and the exams being processed, as I uh, mentioned in my uh, segments, uh, the CI will be contacting the individuals directly, um, giving them access to their learning materials um, electronically. Um, and from that point on, um, it can be self-study. Uh, but of course, um, you can access training uh, through um, some of the uh, accredited training providers, um, as Gainer's um, clearly outlined um, in her segments. Uh, we've appointed some uh, accredited training providers who will be able to deliver training for um, each of the units uh, that are available via the um, Financial Academy website. So really, in reality, what that looks like is probably going to be a combination of uh, some state of self-study or indeed uh, training with um, any of the um, accredited training providers, really. So it, it depends on the individual mainly. Uh, you can attend the course and uh, consolidate your learning with um, some self-study at home before, of course, going on to sit your exam, either via remote invigilation or uh, sitting at a Financial Academy exam centre. Yeah. And to add to that as well, actually, from the CI's experience, uh, a combination of those two methods, self-study as well as training, um, usually uh, produces the best results, really. You know, so it's um, absolutely something worth considering when you're uh, planning your studies. I think there's there's no more questions here. So uh, please, uh, again, if you have any questions come across to you now or, or later on, uh, please send it to the uh, FA exams at FA.org.sa. We will try to respond to you as soon as we can. Uh, if there is any. Okay. Yes, one more question just came yes, through. Sure. Uh, can the panelists just point out how people can raise um, 
and and uh, raise. I don't understand the question. So so if, if they have any questions, how can they ask the questions? Who can they email or contact with questions? Yeah, I think uh, I think the question is asking. If there is a, a raise your hand and then. The, and the, ah, okay. Raise hand. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, raise hand. So, yeah. Makes yes, sense. So can, raise hand. Like, Yes, so we can, yes, so we can <laughs> okay. ask questions if you want, or there is a comment, a high conversation here or conversation, so you can write in the conversation. Yeah, but but if if there are some questions after the meeting, after what? This, yes, absolutely. It's, it's, we are so happy to receive uh, their uh, questions at exams, exams at fa dot org dot sa. Yes, if, they, uh, if we can answer the, uh, these questions, we're going to be happy to answer it. Uh, we need more uh, clarification from the CI. We're going to send it to them directly and ask them uh, to respond to this question. Okay, I will type the, the email address to contact. Yes, there already. Isaac's done that. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> so if anybody has any questions, if you can please send them to the Financial Academy and we'll be more than happy to liaise um, and work together on getting responses for you. Brilliant. Okay, thank you everyone for your time. Really appreciate it. We hope you, you get more information about the collaboration between the FA and CIO. Um, again, if you have questions, please feel free. Uh, we will try to, to respond to you as soon as we can. And also, we're going to try to give more details about the collaboration between the FA and the CIO in the near future. Uh, take care, everyone, and uh, hope to see you again in the future. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, Ahmed.